This video will cover how to create corrective blend shapes and how to use them in Wirado. When you have two or more blend shapes that are activated at the same time and the combined effect isn't something you really like, you can use what's called a corrective, which will essentially add on to the top of those other two and create a much better combined effect. If you're just starting out, I wouldn't recommend using correctives as the base AR kit is already a lot to figure out. So maybe do one or two faces with the base set and then you can expand on using correctives and other things like that. When you're ready to actually start making correctives, make sure that at first you have the combined blend shapes activated and then activate your new blend shape and adjust it to create the desired outcome from the corrective combination. If you just look at the corrective on its own, it's going to look weird. It's kind of like how mouth closed looks weird because mouth closed is only supposed to be active when jaw open is also active. It's that same sort of sense where it's only activated when the corrective triggers are also activated. When you've made all the correctives that you need, export your model and go through the VRM or Wardo export process in Unity. I'm not going to show that in this video, but there are tons of videos that show you how to go through that. In Wardo, you're going to need to create a new blueprint and fill it with this example. To do this, first you need to get to the actual blueprint, so you click this icon and you click the little plus button. I did create a custom node that makes correctives a little easier, but to start out, I'm gonna show you how to do it in vanilla just so you understand the base level of what's happening when you're using correctives. First, you'll need the get iFacial mocap receiver data node, which will take in the data from your iPhone that we can use for the next steps. You'll need the blend shape list Get blend shape node, which filters the list of data to just the selected blend shape uh, data from the iPhone that you need. For smile, you'll need the float addition and division node. This is just to average the left and right sides of the smile, so you get a more balanced effect. You'll need float multiplication to increase the magnitude of the signal in case you want smile to affect the corrective more than just the jaw. For jaw open, now this is optional, but you can use a subtract node to remove the mouse closed data in case you only want the corrective to happen while the mouth is open as well as the jaw. With the two sides done, you now need to multiply them together using a multiply node. The reason this works is we want to make sure that the corrective only happens when both the smile and jaw are happening. By using multiply, the corrective will be zero while either smile or jaw open are zero. It'll also be one when both smile and jaw open are one. And if it's any, any in between values, it'll also be between zero and one. If you want a cap on the corrective, you can add a clamp node, which will make sure that the output stays between a max and min value. Finally, there's a smooth node, which just smooths out the signal to a nicer value. You can also use it just because, in general, Wardo smooths out face tracking, and you'll want it to match. Once all the data is ready, you can feed it into the Set Character Blend Shape node that will activate the corrective and update to whatever value you've generated. A little quality of life thing that you can include is this set of nodes that reset the corrective to zero when the face tracking is lost. Basically, it checks if the face tracking is tracked, and if it is, it does the corrective, and if no, it sets the value to zero. Now to show you how the corrective node works. Here's the same example, but I've replaced the math with the corrective node. If you set LR average to yes, instead of just taking blend shape 1 as the value, it instead averages the L and R input. Multiplier replaces the Multiply node, where it will adjust the magnitude of how much the blend shape will affect the corrective. Flip 0 to 1 will invert the value that's coming in. For this example, if you wanted the corrective to activate as the jaw's clothing rather than opening, you would use it so instead of it being 0 for closed and 1 for open, it becomes 1 for closed and 0 for open. Clamp will keep the incoming values between the max and min values. Clamp export will keep the outgoing values between the max and min values. This replaces the clamp node in the example. 
Smooth just embeds the smooth node so it has all the same functionality and settings. As long as you have a good base understanding, you can use correctives to affect other things like bone rotation and animation controller floats to control other things. This is just one way to handle correctives. Zenny also has a good video covering how to do correctives using a grid asset.